Namaste everyone. Hope everybody is doing well. So let's start our first posture which is Utkatasana. We are keeping feet close to wall, almost touching the wall. Hands next to chest and start to move hip downwards. Keeping knees on the wall, sliding hands down a little, keeping it next to chest again. And try to push chest forward. So hips reaching backwards, chest moving forward. And we have chin on the floor. Any discomfort on the neck, we can keep forehead down. But try to keep chin on the wall so that we work on the throat also. A gentle arch is what we are looking for here. You can move hips slightly more higher just in case if you feel any discomfort. But this is an excellent posture to work on the thighs, on the core and that way we are working on strengthening the knees. Try and hold it for about 40 to 60 seconds and slowly releasing the posture. We are moving on to warrior one posture. So move left foot backwards. The left foot stays at 45 degree angle. Both the hips facing forward. Fingertips gently on the chair. We bend the right knee and see knee is in line with ankle. Otherwise we can walk the foot forward a little more. Squeeze the navel, back knee straight. Inhale and straighten the knee. Exhale, move it down. Inhale, straightening. So we are doing this few more times. Focusing on the breath and checking knee stays in line with ankle as you bend the knee. And again, according to your comfort zone, you will have to see how far you want to bend the knee. You can stay slightly higher if in case you feel discomfort on the knee. We are doing this 7 to 8 times. Eighth time we are holding the posture with the knee bent now. If you find this easy, we can also have hands on the hip. And if you need a little extra support, feel free to have hands on the chair. Holding the pose for five deep breaths. Try and use chest to breathe. And very slowly, gently walk back foot slowly forward and we are switching the sides. Right leg goes back at 45 degree angle, hips facing forward. Exhale, bend the knee and see if you need any adjustment, we do it right now. Inhale, straighten, exhale and bending. Checking back knee is straight at the same time and make sure you squeeze the navel tightly. That will also keep your joints active. So let's continue moving to 7 to 8 times. Holding the posture now. Five deep breaths. Very carefully straighten the front knee slowly, walking right foot slowly forward and 
release the posture. And now I'm turning the chair and we are sitting on the chair now. Try and sit on the edge of the chair. So we don't want to take backrest here, spine active. Knee and ankle in line again. Squeeze the navel. Inhale and we lift right knee up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up and squeeze navel a little more. Rotating that right thigh inward. Exhaling down. Make sure your thigh is not rolled outwards. Rotating inward throughout. And continue moving knee with the breath up and down. We are doing this for five times. And this time we lift, we are holding the posture, check the navel, squeezing in and only if you find this easy, we stretch the arms up, otherwise keep your hands on the chair. Check how effective this posture is on the thighs as well as on the lower abdomen. Breathing through chest and we are staying here, four to five breaths. Let's prepare for the other side. Check both the knees in line with ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale and we move down. I'm adjusting my upper body here. Let's keep moving for five times. And fifth time, we are lifting and holding the posture here. Only if you are okay, we are stretching arms up to ceiling. Shoulders away from the ears. Longer exhalation. Very gently exhale and release the posture. We are doing same thing with the straight knee this time. So walking legs slightly forward, pushing the navel in again. Inhale and we lift right leg up. Exhale and move it down without bending knee. Inhale, lift straight knee. Exhale down. Sitting on the edge of the chair so that you have a little more space to lift the leg up. Keeping that spine straight. And let's continue moving. Fourth round. Exhaling. Five. Six. Seven. Two more times. And let's lift up. We are staying here this time. Keep breathing and keep lifting that leg up. We can exhale through the mouth. That will help you hold the position easily. Few more seconds, keep holding on to it and release. All right, good job. Let's straighten the other knee and we adjust the spine. Inhale, lifting the leg. Exhale, down. Do that carefully, mindfully, and with the breath. Let's keep moving. And 
the last one we are staying here continue breathing and continue lifting try and hold it for at least 3 to 5 breaths and check your chest is not going back keeping that spine upright okay few more seconds and slowly releasing so I'm turning the chair again my poor chair has to do a lot of work today anyways keep left hand on the chair okay push the navel in look straight somewhere close to you open up your left toes and press it down and we are lifting right knee up right knee in line with the hip right knee in line with the ankle left knee we can have softly bend the standing knee and if you find that easy we can have both the hands on the hip otherwise feel free to have that extra support keep pointing right toes down so that we work on the ankle as well fixing the eyes at a point will help you to balance easily staying here five breaths and when we exhale next time we are turning right knee to right side checking hip bones are still facing forward towards your front wall toes are still pointing down try and stay here for at least three breaths exhale back to center and release okay i'm moving the chair on the other side because we will switch the leg and the right hand will stay on the chair now so check the spine check the navel fixing eyes and we lift left leg up again check your thigh is rolled in hips are not moving forward spine upright and a deep breathing right next exhalation very slowly turning knee to left side Try and have it just in line with the hip. Staying here for at least three deep breaths. Bring it back to center and slowly releasing. Next posture, we are walking on the calf muscles. So basically we are strengthening all the joints and muscles around the knee. Again, keep your hands on the chair. Inhale, lift the heel up. Exhale and slowly release. Try to lift up as high as you can. Exhale and press the heel down. Lifting high. Take your time to breathe. And release. If you find that easy, we can have hands on the hip. But I will suggest to keep hands on the chair so that you don't need to focus on balancing. Focus more on lifting heel high so that we work on the entire calf muscles easily. We are doing this 8 to 10 times. Next time we inhale, we squeeze the navel and we are staying here. Looking at a point but mentally shift the focus on your calf. And see how this feels on back of your legs. Staying here for 3 to 5 breaths. Okay, we have taken a scarf and we are lying down on the back. 
working on the leg raises keeping left knee bent left foot stays on the floor bend right knee have a scarf or maybe you can have a thin towel bring it around middle of the right foot inhale and very slowly work on straightening that knee exhale and slowly move it down check how far you can go down within your limit inhale and pushing foot close to face exhale down inhale close to face keep doing this and keep checking if with the movement if you can move your leg a little more down close to floor we want to try doing that so as you can see here i'm trying to go one or two inches little more down than the previous time check the right elbow is relaxed on the floor so no stress on the shoulder working on the thigh and hamstring all together again we are doing this for 7 to 8 times and this time we lift and we are staying here keep moving foot closer to face make sure you do that within your limit continue breathing and we stay here for 5 deep breaths very slowly we bend the right knee releasing the strap and switching the sides check once you adjust that left leg exhale and straighten it first start to move it downwards and then see if you can fix that left elbow on the floor let's keep moving with the breath for 7 to 8 times straightening knee and holding posture this time pushing close to face within the limit five deep breaths very slowly we bend the knee and releasing the posture straighten legs relax the body take a moment and see how this feels on the body few seconds here eyes closed and we are bending the right knee again 
strap or scarf around the right foot. Hold the scarf with your left hand. Right hand will stay on the floor. Straighten the right knee again within your limit. As you exhale, you want to move the leg towards your left wall. Stretching right side of your entire leg, working on that IT bend. Inhale back to center. Exhale and slowly move it to left side. You'll have to see how far you can move it down within your limit. Straighten again. Exhale and move it down. Hold it for two or three seconds. Inhale and center. Let's do that for two more times. This time we bend the knee, hands on the knee, pressing it onto the chest, stretching the right hip. Slowly switching the side, adjusting strap around left foot. Remember we are holding the strap with opposite hand. So your right hand holding strap, left hand on the floor. Straighten, exhale and move it to right side. Holding it for two or three seconds, inhale, straighten. Exhale and move it to side. Doing it for total five times. Last one, holding it and very slowly come back to center and bring knee to chest, hugging that knee to stretch the left hip. We get into Setu Bandhasana from here, so bend both the knees, feet in line with the hips, hands next to hips on the floor, inhale and lift the hips up, try to bring chest close to chin, exhale and moving hips down. Now you'll have to see when you lift the hip up how you feel on the knee, if you find any discomfort, you can walk your legs one or two inches forward and continue moving. Inhale, lifting the hips with the breath. Exhale and slowly down. Let's do this for eight to ten times with the breath.
Next time we inhale, we are lifting, holding the posture. And so if you are okay here, we want to interlock the fingers, creating stretch for the shoulder and continue moving hips high. Breathing through chest. Five to seven breaths. Exhale and we release the hips down, no change anywhere. Feet are still apart, knees together now. And experience the effect of the posture on the spine, on the thighs. We are straightening legs now, working on the ankle. So keep your legs apart and start to rotate the feet in a clockwise direction. Pointing the toes, moving to side wall and flexing the ankle. As if you are creating a circle, a big circle with your entire feet. Doing it five times in clockwise direction and switching the sides. Anti-clockwise five times. Do it slowly and mindfully, keeping the focus on the ankle. Let's sit down for Parivritta Janu Shirshasana. Bend your right knee. You'll have to see your right foot stays in line with your left knee. Ideally, the heel is closer to body, but we want to keep it apart. Slide left hand forward, close to left foot. Turning chest to right wall. Inhale and stretching the arm over the head. Leaning towards left foot with the right arm. Continue turning chest and leaning down at the same time. So it's a twist and side stretch together. Neck relaxed. Eyes closed if you are comfortable. And we are staying here for 5 to 7 breaths. Very carefully bring knee back to center and slowly release. Okay, bending left knee again. Left foot close to right knee, sliding right hand down. Turn your chest to left wall, creating twist. Exhale and start to lean with your upper arm. Keep turning chest up to twist the spine and keep leaning down with exhalation to create a stretch. And we are staying here 5 to 7 breaths.
very carefully bring that knee back to center and release the posture lying down in shavasana relaxing the body staying here 5 to 7 minutes i hope you find this helpful i'll see you in the next video take care